Hello students, welcome to the first lecture of Mathematical Physics with Scilab. In this video lecture, I shall discuss about some basic fundamentals of uh, Scilab, how to make a function and how to write some programs on the function, after that how to execute those functions. After that, simple functions will make to show some mathematical matrix operations like addition, subtraction, multiplications with uh, scilab functions. So and finally, I shall discuss about some image processing, how an image can be treated as a matrix and process those matrices in scilab. So let's start with that. As you can see, this is the Scilab interface in Windows. So I hope everyone has a Windows computer and installed the Scilab. So this this is the variable browsers, uh, some uh, file managers and history editors are there. So now I'll show you how to make a Scilab editor. So uh, to start with, on the console you have to type sci notes after that inside bracket and put the inverted comma and inside you have to write the name of the file after that you have to open it so after opening you have to type the commands or program you have to type here and suppose here we want to make uh, some matrices suppose a equals to 1 2 comma 3 4 so this is 2 by 2 matrix is comma means a different column so here i am uh, we are using a different matrix also b now to display these two matrices you can use display a and display b after that save and execute okay so when you save and execute you will see on the console two matrices are coming one 2, 3, 4. 1 and 3 is first column, 3, 4 is second column. Similarly, B. So you can see 2 by 2 matrix we can make in the program itself. So let's take some examples of addition, multiplications of matrices. So let us use sum. So anything you can write instead of sum. So here I am using sum equals to A plus B. Simple plus sign you can use for editing two matrices. Similarly, multiplication also can be used. So here we are using the multiplication A dot star B. Star means multiplication. So here we can execute again. You can see the results are coming 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, but not sum and multiplication. So for that, we have to display this sum and multiplication variable. Okay. So for that, we can write display sum of the number is and display sum so this will come you can see first lines display sum of the number this is just text so whenever you are writing text you have to put inverted comma and when you execute you can see the text file is coming first after that your answers okay now here you have to remember that these operations should be done only when two matrices are in same order that means 2 by 2 or 3 by 3 or 3 by 4 3 by 4 both now here we can use matrix operations you can see here two values multiplication of uh, element by element and the matrix multiplication multiplication is different so already you know what is the matrix matrix multiplication and what is uh, element by element operations here element by element operation you have to use a dot a dot star p and matrix multiplication you can use just a star b so you have to remember that if you are multiplying element by element then both the matrix should be same order and if you are multiplying matrix multiplication then 2 by 3 matrix if it is first matrix second matrix should be 3 by 2 matrix similarly 
in other order also coming to the second portion of the uh, lecture here i'll show you some basic examples of image processing so here i have opened a new editor there we'll write some programs and finally we'll execute it here we'll take a basic examples of some image which is already in the scilab so how to read that image that means how to load that image so you can see the commands a s equals to i am read full path so if you write this full path and type the command and enter in the console one image will be loaded in your scilab so after that this image will process and after that we'll do some basic operations like uh, cropping changing the image to grayscale like this so here you can see i am read function will do the reading of the image after that it will save as a different image okay and we'll plot this image so after running and executing you can see the image is plotted and it is showing here so this is a color image already in built okay if we zoom the image you can see a closer view of the image by pressing the zoom button so you can zoom it particular portion uh, wait yeah this portion can be zoomed yeah yeah so when one portion is zoomed you can see some colors are coming out that means one color is corresponding to one element of the matrix so scilab takes this a, as a matrix and treat accordingly now we come to the next portion where how to manipulate this image so uh, you can see matplot we have used for to display the image now second portion we have saved already the image so first we have read the image i am read image read after that we have uh, we have written the image as i am write extension is png now we'll read again the image and we'll plot the image like a mat plot and after that we'll make a grayscale okay so this way i have saved the image you can type the image and extension you can put dot png okay yeah so after saving you can read the image again and after reading we'll go to change that image by the way you can particular portion of the program also you can execute by these commands like select and right click after that see here when the image is coming we can ch we want to change this image to grayscale so for that one command is there rgb to gray so i am is there as a, a loaded one so rgb to gray if you use the command it will be changed to grayscale so after that you can display it by matplot okay so if you execute the full commands you can see the grayscale image is coming out so this is the first portion of your image processing how to change an image to its grayscale okay now the another portion of the image will deal with the cropping of the image so some pixel value you can take as this uh, command i am crop i am means image crop so what will crop the input is gray and after that you can take that and display by m plot okay so this was the some basic examples of manipulating some image 
and deal dealing with the matrix operations here you can see some lines are given in the double slash those lines are comment lines it will not be treated as uh, for the main program however you can remember some lines suppose this line is for matrix multiplication this line is for that so those comments you can write by double slash and finally we got this cropped image and uh, so we'll close this image and you can see this program can is already saved and later also we can recall the program okay so i hope you have understood the uh, procedures of creating executing some functions how to write a uh, program in the scilab after that some basic matrix operations and you can manipulate some images so next you you can do some uh, homeworks based on the this class so you can do some matrix manipulation or multiplications with different or higher orders of two matrices you can do some uh, image processing with the help of this video so thank you so much for attending the class